Only on 7 News, a Denver woman tased in the face by a stranger. These injuries caused by being repeatedly zapped with a stun gun. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen live now with her quick thinking and how it led to an arrest. Well, police say this woman got this multiple times in the face walking through her neighborhood, but she had the presence of mind to get the person's license plate number and immediately call 911. It's a completely senseless thing. Even though she's afraid to reveal her identity, this Denver woman wants people to see what happened to her face. I mean, I was covered in blood. She was walking across South Sherman to get home and says this woman, Nicole Parkin, almost drove into her and actually did hit her purse. She slammed on her brakes, backed up, came after me. She says the 5 foot 2, 110 pound Parkin came out of the car carrying a stun gun and started chasing her. I was trying to push the door code to get into the building and she got into the vestibule and just started tasing me in the face. She wouldn't stop, so I got down on the ground in fetal position and she just kicked me and um, left. But not before the victim was able to get her license plate number. Arrest report State Park and told police a crazy lady was throwing things at her vehicle, a charge the victim flat out denies. I don't know if she was drinking, if she was on drugs. A month after the attack, the scars on her face are still visible, even after several laser treatments. But she says the emotional scars are worse. She's moving as soon as possible. I don't think that the area is bad. I think that this person is crazy, and I don't like her knowing where I live. And the DA did charge Parkin with felony assault. We checked. She has been charged with an assault before. We talked to the suspect. She refused to comment to be interviewed for our story, but she denied ever using the stun gun. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.